Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Rabeus, the Daily Trader. It is December 7th, and we are going to take a look at the VIX, Dow Jones, S&P 500, and also NASDAQ. So the VIX is continuing its way up. So we are up 0.51, closed at 2268. So let's look at what this looks like on the chart. So we have been going up for the past three days. And we are coming back into this, this bullish channel right here. Did we close above it? Yes, we are officially back into it. Yes, it's only one candle. So I'm always wary when I say it's back into it. It's always better to wait for two candles. I would say even more so with, with the VIX because the VIX is sometimes all over the place. It does one candle right here, another one here, boom, boom. It's all over the place. So. Especially for VIX, we need to use the two candle rule at least. And then depending on the stock that we are looking at, then sometimes we don't have to use that rule. Tesla is one stock that when it goes, it just goes. So if we wait for a Tesla after two candles to uh, look for a break, Tesla could be gone. It could be just gone because as I said, when it goes. So we are coming back. So we seem to be bouncing like we bounced April of this year, August of this year. We came down to 1906, boom, came down to 1906, boom. And three, four days ago, came down to 1906. And it looks like we are going to boom like this. So this is not going to help the stock market. Yes, stochastic is not yet over 60. So there is a chance that we cave in a little bit. So maybe 2382 is going to be the place where we cave in. But because of this, uh, let's just, uh, let's just look at that a little bit more. But the move that we had today should have impacted the stock market a little bit at least. So when the VIX is going up, uh, stock market tends to go down. Yes, you are going to tell me Dow Jones was 1.58 at 33,597 and 93. So 158 is almost nothing. Out of 33,000, 1.58 is almost nothing. It's almost a joke. We are, uh, we made a lower high and we made a higher low. Okay, we are going to give it that. We have our first support price here. We have our real support right there and i think i had these i wanted to put this one with two pixels because that's the most important one at 32 this is the numbers here at 32886 so if we break support at 32886 since we don't have a stick uh, we should be having a nice move down and the move down should be the same height as this. So this is the move down. So if it breaks here, we should have this same move down, the same amplitude, the same height. We'll see. Let's look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 broke outside of the bullish channel. This is the second day out. So we can all, we can start to consider it to be really out after the second day. I'm going to put this support with two pixels. So 3902 is when the shorting could could begin because we don't have stochastic over 60. So the only thing that's holding us up is a support after it's gone, we're, we're, we are gone. Then NASDAQ composite outside of its bullish channel also because of what's happening with the VIX. Huh? So we are weakening a little bit. So we lost stochastic over 60. And this one is almost ready to be shorted uh, because I consider the... so. Because the support is at 10, 10, 9, 4, 1. The chances are that it goes back down here, become a little bit uh, higher. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you a la prochaine.